Welcome back. Once again, adventurers, to let's play Robotics Notes Elite. In the last episode, Akio took Juno and Kaito to the General Hospital on Tanagashima Island to visit Doc Fujita. But when Juno announced that she was Fujita's granddaughter, the Doc promptly ordered no visitors, or rather specifically ordered the trio to leave, no questions asked. Which was only going to serve to worsen the divide between Juno and Fujita. But on a related note, uh, for some reason Michi, who uh, might I add is also banned uh, from the robot clinic along with Akio, apparently visited uh, Fujita as well. I, uh, I'm not sure if I actually buy that myself. I want to say sh lies and shenanigans, but it might actually be true, and that scares me. He responds nonchalantly as he digs into his poor cutlet bunch. I can't help but mutter the words of that person, forgetting that I'm in the factory. <laughs> Facility room. Sorry, factory room. いい感じの見合いもと覚えとけ。情報の伝達速度ってもんはこのコード情報化社会になったところでちっとも変わらねえ。これ豆知識だ。That's not True, but uh, you would be on. Uh, you would also be on the list of people that Doc Fujita would rather never see again. おかげで昨日になっちまったんだ。結局のところ人才ってことだな。ヒューマンエラー。バルバ。The hell are you talking about? I really don't. Is he telling me he's sulking because he was left out? Probably. That's ridiculous. Then again, this is Michi that we're dealing with here. Michi ni oshie na kotto no wa wazato da yo. Datte Michi, robo clinic wa dekin ni natte ru jan. Two years ago, back when I first enrolled here, Michi came on as a teacher about the same time I joined the robotics club. And Michi became its advisor. It was then that the other members told Kai and I with pale expressions on their faces. The Robotics Club Code of Conduct is only one rule, and it's extremely clear. Do not let Menchi anywhere near the robot clinic. Apparently, Doc and Michi are on hyper bad terms. I suppose Akio is just simply on bad terms. At the moment. When Michi was the first gen president of the club, he had a huge fight with Doc and got banned from the premises. I'm scared to ask how. Or, well, why is another matter. Then again, as I said, it's Michi. If we put those two face to face, the robot clinic would be a return to a blood bar. Kai and I have tried to so hard to follow the rules that have been laid out for us. Masako Michi, Doku ga yowatte ru no ni tsuke konde, koko zato bakari ni higoro no urami o harashi ni itta to ka? Sai. うちはドクに味方させてもらうからね。悪は正義によって滅ぼされちゃえばいいんだ。おい、おい。散々な言われようだな。まあ、あらがち間違っちゃいねえが。Well, at least you uh, 
あとなおい、先生のことミッチーと呼ぶな。何度言えばわかるんだ。Never。I I think the dog would beg to differ there. いやいや。だってミッチーがロブクリニックの裏手に積まれてるスクラップはガラクタって呼んだからどこが怒って喧嘩になったんでしょ？That's a red card right there. Ha! Mitchy rolls his eyes dramatically and stabs his rice covered chopsticks at me. いいか。そんなデタラミ言ったやつを今すぐここに連れてこい。先生が説教してやる。ロブブに代々受け継がれてきた話だもん。デタラメだっつってんだ。ベチポップスはサワープラメンの顔。アノイドエクスプレッションのスペース。
The distance, of course, being the final drowning in source piece of all Kanto. Anojisan, Sunen Burini at that Zunoni, Sensei Nimka de Donarukotos Rashiashi. しなきしまったさ、まったく。顔を合わせた最初の一声は、うう、お前か、だもんな。正直、あんなに弱気などこを見たのは初めてでな。先生、少し涙が出ちまった。Well, he is And here I thought you were going to reminisce about a certain something else with him, but I guess not. I guess Mitchy really is just completely and utterly useless as a as a human being. Tada Madono Soto Mitter Dagede Nanimi Pastigore. たたもうと思ってこれが塩だきさ。うん。Well, ロボットは人間の友達だ。ロボクリニックはその友達を治療できる場所。And you had such passion for it, which was probably the uh, the other motivating factor uh, behind your decision to take up Misaki Sonomiya's offer to build uh, Gun Build One. What's our humanity's friends? I never thought those words would ever come out of Doc's mouth. I never knew that that was how he used to feel either. He's going to close the robot clinic. Ne, Michi. Doc will gain kids again. You are. Do you start a in a corner? Personally, Akio, I don't think there's anything you can do. And Mitch is just useless. Again, he said, clicking his tongue. Mitchie tosses the last piece of pork cutlet into his mouth. <coughs> ah, come. playing his uh, usual round of kill ballad. I repeat the same combo against my CPU opponent over and over again. The key to getting better at fighting games is repetition, as well as uh, combo memorization. That way you can minimize any miss inputs you might make. Doing this for long enough can take you pretty far up the leaderboards. I'm ranked number two worldwide, but even then I still do this. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to maintain my rank. My classmates have become increasingly stressed about studying for ed for entrance exams this season. Me, well, it's 
instead of attending the exam prep classes, I'm leaning against the giant foot of the Model 1 and laughing at KB. Don't get me wrong, I'm a little stressed about the stress actually. Don't talk me, Kaito. I'm definitely going to fail in this world. But compared to the mentality I had before summer break, I'm a bit more optimistic now. Okay, maybe optimistic is the wrong word. It's more like I've given up. And Tabuti is completely yeah, ignoring Akio as well. Well, actually not entirely. Akio's voice rings out from behind where I'm sitting. First the tweeps, where butts of friends are. I feel your pain, Akio. I feel your pain. And Sister Cinebe chiming in. They are. That's why Akio and I are friends too. Harry doesn't feel like a robot at all. Play ten minutes before heading to the hangar. Two wins and one miles. Uh, no, no one. Sorry, one of them. Soldiers aren't needed, but I guess I would, they thought I was a tough old man. Sigh. I guess I can have some free range chicken and sake. God damn you, Mitchie. You are worse than useless. But anyway, back to, back to Akio. She's been giving me the details of Doc's condition after hearing them from Mitchie. All the while crawling underneath Model 1, continuing her usual work on it. She had said something about wanting to mess with the wiring. Started yet, so she might just have a lot of time on her hands. You might have already hit that point. To that, even I would have to concede good luck with that. Kaido not really paying attention. Akio crawls out from beneath the robot. Still lying face down on the ground, she looks up at me coldly. I can see you stand up and reach down for her. I take her hand and pull her out. It's greasy with oil. <laughs> Really, Kaito, it was your own fault. There's no running water at the airport, so this is gonna suck. I left some wet wipes in the hangar for times like this. I wonder if there are any left. I brush off the question and ha head inside the hangar. <laughs> baby wipes, baby wipes, where for art thou, baby wipes? Dag never kind of. I find some on top of the desk and begin to wipe my hand off. Paying special attention to the fingertips. Since KB uses the touch screen, uh, screen, the condition of my fingertips has a major effect on my performance. Look at 
that be? Let's find out. Hi. That's Mizuka. Oh, it's Mizuka san. I asked her to look into dark for me. Yeah, that's right. I once again choked down the culinary disaster that was the passion run. Can't talk about it over the phone. So away we go. Akio comes walking into the hangar while drinking a skull. I don't think there's anything we can really do for her right now either. I don't know what Kaito just brushing her off as usual. Where are you going? I'm going to Smiles and chugs down the rest of the drink. When I arrive at the store, Juno is sitting on the bench out front. Her expression is all the evidence I will ever need to know her mood. She has a blank expression on her face and a bottle of mineral water on it in her hands. When she notices me, her head uncomfortably lowers even further. Junjo, yeah, Kaito, but your circumstances are a lot different from Juno's. Why? Juno shakes her head softly from side to side in response. I guess she still hasn't seen him face to face yet. Biowee, <laughs> My words exactly, Juna. She smiles sadly and once again shakes her head, but this time she's looking up. そこまでその引きずってるわけじゃなくてじゃあこの前宇宙センターで俺たちに言いかけたことが関係してるあたりジュナ stares lifelessly at the water rocking back and forth inside the bottle in her hand えっと私、ロボブ、やめようかなって思ってて。おっと、そう来たか。Can't say I saw that coming. Though the signs were pretty much there if you actually 
bother to pay attention, Kaido. でね、思ったの。私って空っぽだなって何やっても駄目駄目だし、そんな風にいろいろ考えてたらだんだん落ち込んできちゃって。PTSD followed by crippling depression. It is a serious one to punch. <sighs> this is pretty serious. Indeed it is, Kaito. But that doesn't mean I can't try and lend a hand. How uh, very chivalrous of you. But I do know it would be an issue if she quit the club. Yeah, because you can't use her as your guinea pig or your or your scapegoat anymore. Juno already has a role to fill in the robotics club after all. We're short-handed and running out of time as it is. But the only role she currently has is the mocap operator, and that's it. Somebody dropped out now would be a huge blow to Akio. Hmm,弱ったな。とりあえずさ、毒に関するとっておきの情報に興味あるなら中に入りなよ。I would say that's a cruel low blow there, Kaito, but then again, the information that Mizuka has might just be what Juno needs to hear, so why not? Juno looks puzzled. Not surprising. Tanegashima, Zui, Chino, Jogo, Yasanga, Koko, Nyo, Irunda, Yo, Shitte, Da. Of course, you have to read a、uh, terrifying passion fruit bun in order to get said information, but I don't know this. Ohome ni azukari, domo. And Mizuka heard the entire thing. Oh well. Hanagashima's top information broker stares me down as I enter a shop. Nano ni nande ore wa ni ramare te iru no yara. Kyo mo okire na Mizuka san. Kai wa otoko nano ni kuchi wa karui mitai da te su biyo mai ni kizuka sareta kokoro nano sa. An mari bera bera shaberu nja nai te koto da yo. Juno then enters the shop with a nervous look on her face. Irashai. Juno gave a quick bow. Mizuka-san's gentle smile toward Juno is a complete 180 compared to her attitude toward me. Can't imagine why, Kaito. Also, I think this is probably the first time in which Juno has actually、uh, met、uh, Mizuka. And then Mizuka-san, the information was obtained, right? I grab a bottle of fruit sour melon from the beverage corner and place a couple of coins on the counter. That's right. What I really want is info about the forbidden storage space inside the robot clinic. The very same place that Juno wandered into and experienced her trauma. I only heard recently from Akio that Michi also wanted him once, which is why he got banned from the store. In regards to the timeline, Juno went in 11 years ago and Michi 8 years ago. Why is this place so important to me, you ask? Because I have to switch on a robot in there in order to set a flag for Kimiji Mobile Port Number Four. That's why. Yeah. 
notwithstanding the coincidence that Ko Kimijima would actually know about uh, um, this secret room that uh, belongs to Fujido, but I digress. So much so, 18 years ago, Robo Clinic was built. That place was not the same as today. Yeah, it was just a place where people would go to get a haircut. Yeah, it was just a place where people would go to get a haircut. Yeah, it was just a place where people would go to get a haircut. Yeah, it was just a place where people would go to get a haircut. そういうものがほとんどだったんだ。思考フェア、おもちゃ屋さんだったってこと。おもちゃ屋にしては、売ってるもののジャンルは偏りすぎてたけどね。ま、どこは元ナスダの技術者だったわけだからさ。その腕を見込んで、ホビーロボやらラジコンやらが趣味の大人連中も常連客にはいたみたいだけど。あくまで最初は子供のために作った店だったんだよ店先には等身大のロボットが何台も置かれてねもなれば、島のあちこちから子供たちが集まってきてたもんさ。そんな子供たちをロボットはお出迎えするんだ。ちゃんと喋ったんだよ。すごいだろ。Impressive for 2001 standards, for sure. 実際、私も何度か遊びに行ったことあるしね。ほんと、子供ばっかりだった。遊びに来た子供はさ、ロボットに夢中だったよ。And why wouldn't they be? だってそうだろう。こっちが声をかけたら、目とか口とかピカピカ光らせて、ちゃんと言葉を返してきてくれるんだから。こんな田舎のガキにしてみりゃ、そういうロボットの存在は、そりゃ夢のようなもんなんだよ。Indeed, indeed they would be, Ms. Uka. <笑> Again, that was then, and this is now. So, no robo, Komori, my dear, should be okay. So, no, 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 でも子供の私らからすりゃそれで十分じゃないかそうだろう、so. でも信じられないなあの偏屈な毒が子供相手に店をやってたなんて私だって驚いたさでもね思い出したんだよ小さい頃ロボクリニックに遊びに行った時確かにドクは私ら子供がはしゃいでロボットと遊んでる姿を見てニコニコ笑ってたなーってドクスマイリングあああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああドクはよくこう話してたらしいよロボットは人間の友達だってね友達そのロボットさドクが全部自分で作ったのかな相沢次郎博士知ってるかいジェロー・アイザワカンセルドゥジ
Jenna and I exchange glances. Once I have ever heard of him. Robot Hakase te yobarete da hito san. Nihon de robot no daichi ni shat te yeba, dare o moi kaberu? Hai, kai. そりゃあ漫画家のアイブー間違いじゃああんたえっと足もふそれもプー足も振ってる作家だろあながち間違いじゃないけど日本のって限定だからプーだえじゃなくてえっと、等身大ロボットのそ,そっちかいどっちみちブーまっかく言う私もつい昨日知ったわけだけどアイザー博士は今から半世紀以上も前にロボットを作ってた人でねそのロボットはさ昭和のブリキのおもちゃみたいな外見なんだけど愛嬌のある動きと声が特徴でアイザーロボットって言われてたあ、uh, now it's starting to make sense yeah let's just say that、uh... Back in the 60s, 70s, and 80s,、uh, the concept of robots was kind of interesting, old fashioned, especially by today's standards, but、uh, certainly interesting. Osaka Bampak de Ataro, 1970 Nen. So, go demo should dance at a takurasa. ドクはそのアイザー博士の最後の弟子みたいなもんらしくてね、uh, so、博士のところに若い頃に押しかけていろいろ教えてもらったんだとさロボクリニックができた時店先で子供たちを出迎えてたのはそんなドクがアイザーロボットを参考に作ったロボットだよ全部で9体今はロボクリニックの倉庫で眠ってる room, in dust, そのロボットたちって名前ついてなかった人間と似たような名前っていうかさ例えば五次郎くんとかそんな名前を聞いた覚えは、uh, ああ確かにそんなような名前がついてたよ五次郎だかガジロだかってさ詳しくはよく覚えちゃいないけどね That pretty much confirms that Gojiro Kun is one of the robots in the forbidden storage space. Dodge the bullet there, Kaito. Namai o tokte suru s h u d a n haru. In my opinion, you could just go there and have them talk to you. So, ne? Eh? So, ko j u y o nan da kedo. Doku ni jokse t s k i k e b a i ja nai ka. Unfortunately, that's out of the question, Mizuka. That's a little bit of a 
probably doesn't enter into it. I can sense that I shouldn't go there with Doc. So much so much. Namai ga sonna ni juyo? Starting to dip into dangerous danger territory there, Kaito. Eh, nawa tai o arawasu te yu shi. Kai, nani takuran den da? ブラッドネームカイトシュルネフォードアップネームうんどいつにまあ、かんぶんアップキミジマレポーツウィッドシュカさんいつもはシーズナウススペシャスグッジョブねカイトあ、キャンディスビエニモーフォーパインあのい
うとメチただの思い上がりだったってだけさ Alright then, what should my next move be? For now I give my thanks to Mizuka-san and exit the store See Juna trudging towards school. After lightly jogging for a bit, I managed to catch up with to her. Jun-chan, sa, just a plan, nan da kedo. Eh, na, nani kana? Robo Clinic no akazu no soko. Itte miyo to ka moa nai. Not sure I'm liking where this is going, Kaito. <laughs> And I'm sure neither neither is Juna. Juna's eyes widen. Hmm. Well, here we are. Here we are at the robot clinic again. But that is going to be it for this episode of Let's Play Robotics Notes Elite, and when we return... Jonah is about to face her past yet again. As always, until next we meet. <laughs>